Hi Lucy, this is Scott. We spoke earlier and I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you can do in-house to help bring in more business using your website and Google Business Profile. I would appreciate to hear your feedback about the video and I hope that this video is educational and beneficial for you as well. So here's your website right here. I do love your logo with the crown in the underneath the roof. That's pretty awesome. I do like that you have this little video as, as well. That's pretty nice. Uh, and one thing I would recommend is just, you know, you have your get your free estimate and contact, but usually people have click to calls right up top just so people don't have to scroll down to find your phone number. That's just something small, but that's, that is a recommendation for you. The biggest recommendation I have for you though is to add more content to your website. The reason I say that is because Google loves to see content. They want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, you want to be found for buyer intent keywords that people are searching in Google searches. Usually that comes with a service and also a location. So, you know, like Phoenix Roofer, that would be a great example. Another thing you could do, all your images, videos, uh, pictures, anything that you can save as alternate text. If you save the alternate text as buyer intent keywords as well, that'll count as content too because it's embedded behind the photo for you. So I did go ahead and put your website into a tool I use called Arabs. This will give me your analytics and kind of show me where you're setting. The DR is the trust that Google has for your website. This is on a scale of 100 and you want that number to constantly be moving up. You're currently at 1.1 trust with Google and that's due to your backlinks and your citations. And if you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal, so I do recommend avoiding the spammy backlinks and going after the authoritative ones. And you do that by staying relevant to your industry and also your location. And it looks like you're being indexed for two keywords and you're getting about 40 people to your website each and every month. Which, by implementing these strategies, both your organic traffic and also your trust will move up with Google. And then looking at, you know, just a Phoenix, Arizona roofers uh, search in Google, you have your Google Guaranteed Services right up top, and then you also have your local listings. And these are great ways to um, generate business quickly if that's something you're looking for. But being up in the Google Business Profile is really where you want to be. It's okay that you're not here, but I would strive to try and get into the Google Business Profile, at least the top three. Um, you could start by constantly be adding reviews. You could make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. And then adding branded, geotagged, or geolocated photos weekly is really helpful because it'll show Google that you're growing your business organically. And then adding citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is beneficial because Google is a big popularity contest. And by giving out your information to as many people as possible, Google will start to trust you more. And that'll, that trust will be not only in your local areas, but in your surrounding areas as well. And then being in the Google Business Profile will generate about 30 to 40% of your online traffic because of uh, people can just click right here on the website. Then we move down into the organic listings down here, and um, you want to be on the first page of Google. It's really important because if you're on the second or third page, when you scroll down, hit next down here, um, you know, not a lot of people go to the second page of Google. So if you're not on the first page, you're missing out on a lot of traffic. And it looks like Lions Roofing is one of your top competitors here. And if we go to their website, I mean, they have a decent amount of content on here, but what you can do to outrank them is to have more content with better buyer intent keywords, those authoritative backlinks and citations. And then one thing that they also do is uh, you could add a lot of key buyer intent keywords by having location pages so that you could have, you know, if you service multiple areas, then you could be found for even more Google searches. So for example, like for Phoenix, you know, there's 800 searches just for roofing companies, Phoenix, just that one keyword. There's another 400 for roof repair and another 300 for roof repairs. So you can see that there's a massive amount of volume being searched for roofers in Phoenix, Arizona. But as an example, you know, Scottsdale here, Scottsdale Roofing, there's 200 searches, another 200, another 200. So, I mean, there's a massive amount in Phoenix and there's a really good amount in Scottsdale. So when you start outranking your competitors for these buyer intent keywords, 
and to having multiple pages to you know let people know what locations you service a percentage of the total volumes of all of the places that you have keywords for will start to go to your website instead of your competitors and then a percentage of the people going to your website will give you a call and depending on your closing rate will turn into a customer for you so i really hope that this video was beneficial for you i again would appreciate to hear your feedback and thoughts Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.